Welcome back to Breezy Organization. I am on here today to show you a few ways that you can customize your planner. You're definitely going to stay tuned for this one. These are some tricks that I haven't seen anywhere else online and hopefully you will learn um, something new to help you customize your planner just the way you like it. Okay, so say you get a planner and it's not exactly laid out the way that you want it to be. Say you want to name a tab something different and then you want something completely different underneath that tab. And you think, oh, this is just not doable because it's not a blank page. That's not altogether true. Some of these options that I'm going to show you today, um, they are a tiny, tiny bit pixelated. So if super, super, super clear images are ve is very, very important to you, um, one of these options may not work for you. But I'm just trying to show you different options that you can do to make your planner more customized to how you like. Okay, so basically, say somebody is doing a monthly budget and they have no desire to have a paycheck um, tab over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this tab and you say, well, how would you do that? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to hit this pencil up here and then we are going to use our lasso tool and we're just going to grab a chunk of this pink and then we're going to take a screenshot. Okay. And then we are going to copy the screenshot and then I am going to just paste Okay, now we got our little screenshot right here. Oh, it's so little, it doesn't want me to move it. Okay, so see, this is the exact color as this tab. So all I'm gonna do is use all of my little stretching features here, and I am going to cover up where it says paycheck budget. Now you will have to do this on every page of the planner. So you only wanna customize pages if you're ser seriously needing to customize a page. So super sleek you can't even tell that that ever said anything different so you just took a chunk of the right color and then you covered it up and then it is really easy to rename a tab sorry that's my daughter um okay so you can rename a tag by typing in um say you wanted to name it uh notes okay so we're going to name it notes and what we need to do now is flip flop it so we're going to grab it and then we're going to resize and then we're going to turn it sideways and I should have capitalized all of it because all these other ones are capitalized, but that's okay. We're not going to stress about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this and I'm going to change it to um, a different color here. Okay. So change it to white. Okay. So now it says notes and if it was all capital, you would not even realize that I have changed that to say anything different. Like you, it would look like it just came that way. Okay, so even though it says it's notes, if I go and click on it, it still has the paycheck budget because that's the way the planner was set up, right? Okay, so here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to find the page that you are wanting to put over this page. So I know that I put in notes, but say say we didn't want notes in there, okay? So say we want, um, I don't know, say we want this adventure fun, okay? So we are going to hit this and we are going to hit our little lasso tool. And we're just gonna go around all of the page that we want to copy like this. And then we're going to take a, a screenshot, <laughs> a cream cut. Okay, so we lassoed all the way around this and now we're gonna tap, press take screenshot, hit the out arrow and then hit copy. And then now we are gonna go back to the notes page that I had renamed, which I didn't rename on every page. So that's something that we'll have to go back and do. So this is the page that's supposed to say notes. Okay, so then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna find the page we wanted on and we're gonna hit paste. And then we're gonna make it bigger, but not too big. We want it to fit on the white part and be close enough to the rings to where you can't see the page underneath it. And that looks really, really good. And so say, I don't want two of these, but say I wanted two of these on both sides. Then we would just do... Hey, <laughs> baby. My son's at the door. I gotta go. Um, voila. 
And then you have this page, which I know it says notes, but say, say we changed it. Say we go ahead and change it to, um, adventure. Okay. Then we're going to make this a little bit bigger. It's probably not going to fit. So we're going to highlight it. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And it went back to black, but you get the idea. You can change it to whatever you want to. And then you hit adventure. And then there you go. That's how you totally customized this planner. Now, if you zoom in, it's not going to be quite as clear as what it would be if you actually went on the savings page, see how you can zoom in and it's like crystal clear. Okay, so that's the deal with taking a screenshot. So if you're really, really particular on um, if something's gonna be super, super clear, that may not be an option for you. So um, let's see, let's go back to, what page was that on that I was on? Paycheck, okay. Yes, so right here, these are the ones that we did. And say later, you just don't like what you did. You can always go back and erase everything that you do. That's why I love digital planning. So you can just delete, delete, voila. It is amazing. I'm telling you, the options are absolutely endless. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything on this video, please comment and subscribe below. That really, really helps us to be able to bring you lots more videos your way. And we hope that this helps you in your digital planning adventures and we'll catch you on the next one.